Hey Primary 6 Math Prodigy, this is Coach Seifel with your daily dose of math mastery and today we're going to move on to question number 4 of speed for assessment paper 2. So let's take a look at the question together. The question says this, a train traveling at 70 km per hour can travel a distance in 8 hours. So we have the speed, we don't have the distance but we have the time. Now how long will it take for a car to cover the same distance but traveling 10 kilometers per hour faster than the train. Now this question is pretty pretty simple and straightforward so let's do this together right now. I'm gonna draw a train or what seems to be my definition of how a train looks like. <laughs> so this is a train <laughs> and it's traveling at a speed of 70 kilometers per hour and it can travel the distance in 8 hours. So do we know the DST here? I'm gonna draw DST right now. Oh there's a plane right now. Okay, DST, and we don't have the distance, but we have the speed as well as the time. So can we find the distance? Yes, we can. Distance is equal to 70 kilometers per hour times 8 hours, which will give you what? 560 kilometers. So we found out the distance already. Now, it says that a car, let, let that pass by first. Now, that aeroplane is traveling 100 kilometers per hour faster. <laughs> but anyways, let's see a car. A car can actually travel. Okay, I'm going to draw a car. A very cute Volkswagen. Okay, and the car. Wow, what's happening here? <laughs> Having a rally or something? Okay, so this car can travel 10 kilometers faster. In other words, 70 plus 10 or 80 kilometers per hour faster. Okay, and what you can do is you want us to find out um, how long will it take for the car to travel the same distance of 560. So, very simple. We have, in this case, we have the speed and we have the distance. Can we find the time? Yes, we can. Times equals to distance divided by speed, in this case 560, divided by 80 and that will give you 7 hours. So the answer is very simple. The answer is it will take the car 7 hours to cover the same distance. Very, very, very simple. Don't get confused. Chill out, relax, get the answer simply. Okay, and with that, that's the end of today's video. Very, very fast. <laughs> this question is super simple. And why people always keep telling me, you know, how do you, do you say that everything's so simple? It's because of this. Is the more I practice, the easier it gets. It's a very simple formula. The more I practice, the easier it gets. So the more you practice, the more kind of questions you get exposed to and the easier things get for you. Okay, with that, this is Coach Saiful signing off. You are a math prodigy. Good job.